and we're a clean energy company. So, you know, I think the the easiest way to kind of put the mission in perspective for people is when you when you look at the grid, the, the demand from today's society is getting heavier and heavier and the infrastructure just isn't able to keep up. And so, you know, the goal, of course, is to, is to add more renewable energy to the, the grid, take advantage of the amazing technologies and in wind power and solar power and unfortunately those those energy sources are intermittent the sun's not always shining the wind's not always blowing welcome to business ninjas brought to you by right for me where you'll hear from business leaders who are out there growing their business and slaying it every day learn from the masters let's get started Hi, and welcome to another episode of Business Ninjas. I'm here today with Tyler Borns, Chief Marketing Officer at Dragonfly Energy. How are you doing today, Tyler? I'm good. Thanks for having me, Andrew. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for spending some time with us here on Business Ninjas. Please tell us a little bit about yourself and about Dragonfly Energy. Sure. I am the uh, Chief Marketing Officer here at Dragonfly Energy, and we are a, a pretty exciting company that focuses on, on battery technology for the future. And then we also sell a really successful brand of lithium ion batteries uh, into the consumer market under our brand Battleborn Batteries. Excellent. And and what's your background? How did you end up at Dragonfly Energy? Yeah, I kind of have a unique background in the space where I was actually in the video production business for for over 15 years, very much a content creator. Um, I've done award-winning documentaries. I've produced and directed feature films. And Dragonfly Energy was actually my client for uh, for a number of years. I did corporate videos with them from before they even got their first round of funding, you know, seven or eight years ago, and just kind of watched the company blossom and grow. And you know, always knew the you know the big mission that they they had a, ahead. So when they got to a certain point, when they were big enough and the opportunity arose, I I knew what was at stake, and it just seemed like the right challenge for me. Excellent. Well, t tell us about those big challenges and, and and goals of Dragonfly Energy. What are they up to? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're a clean energy company, so you know, I think the the easiest way to kind of put the mission in perspective for people is when you when you look at the grid and it's in you know the media a lot lately. You see you know brownouts in Texas, you know the issues in California around the the grid. The the demand from today's society is getting heavier and heavier, and the infrastructure just isn't able to keep up. And so, you know, the goal, of course, is to, is to add more renewable energy to the, the grid, take advantage of the amazing technologies in, in wind power and solar power. And unfortunately, those, those energy sources are intermittent. The sun's not always shining, the wind's not always blowing. And so with us, we wanted to create a viable solution, a safe, cost-effective viable solution um, to be able to put storage on the grid, you know, whether it's at you know, the substation level is obviously, you know, big, big picture, but really in distributed storage in a, you know, a smart grid, micro grid type situation, you know, where you're putting it on office buildings, you're putting it on, on homes. And, you know, there was a lot of market opportunity for, for a technology that could solve the problems that are needed for the, you know, for the, for the grid. And so we have some really exciting, uh, patented manufacturing processes around creating these solid state batteries. And what we've done is created a completely non-flammable battery um, that we'll be able to domestically uh, produce right here in Nevada, which is where, where I'm based. Um, but at the same time, we have, we're have we a revenue generating company today too. And we have a really exciting brand, as I mentioned before, in Battleborn Batteries. And with that, anybody that owns an RV or a truck camper or a or a sprinter van probably knows our our name, and we've really changed the game, empowering people's lifestyles and adventures on on that side of it. In the in the meantime, so it's exciting to have two very different businesses, um, kind of going at the same time. Excellent. Can you speak to the, I mean, the idea of a non flammable? Or, or... Are we talking about lithium ion batteries or what sort of technology are we talking about? Yeah, yep, absolutely. So we work all with lithium ion batteries. We focus on the battery chemistry called lithium iron phosphate. We mm -hmm. found that to be the 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 safest, you know, most uh, effective uh, battery chemistry uh, for our purposes. So compared to a lot of battery companies you're hearing about today, we focus on making a storage battery where most companies focus on making an EV battery, an electric vehicle battery. And when you're looking at EV batteries, it's very different demand. It's a really high initial surge. It's very fast recharging times. 
um, it's okay to have some level of flammability because you're used to driving a car with a gas tank on on board. Uh, oh, it's okay. Wait, what? One second. It's okay to have some flammability. <laughs> they think it's okay to have some flammability. Most people are comfortable with it. Um, so for us, when we're creating the batteries we have today, we needed a solution that people could sleep on top of. These batteries can go, you know, under your bed. So our batteries today are incredibly safe. They go through a very intensive quality control process, but it's a much more stable uh, chemistry of of lithium ion. And that lithium iron phosphate is perfect for that long-term storage. We've got batteries that'll last 10 to 15 years, um, just incredible reliability, incredible safety. And so when we look at these non-flammable batteries, we wanted to to keep the benefits of that, that lithium iron phosphate. So it's actually just a unique manufacturing process we've developed um, you know, in order to, to create that, I'll leave it to the scientists to, uh, explain exactly how it, it works, but it's, it's a really unique process that, um, only we can do. And, and basically what it does is the, the flammable part of a, you know, lithium ion battery is the liquid electrolyte. Um, so when you talk about a solid state battery and an all solid state battery, not a hybrid one, like you see out there, um, you've got to get pretty creative to make sure that can reach those same performance levels without having the liquid for everything to move, you know, throughout efficiently. Now, just so I understand, in general, your batteries are being used as a fail safe to, to plug, to fill the gaps when the regular electrical grid fails, or are we talking about um, harnessing solar power at someone's home and then distributing the power that way? What sure. So we, we kind of refer to it as a house battery is a good way to think of it. So, you know, in our most common application today, like on our, an RV trailer, um, we help people go off the grid so they can either ditch their generator or their generator just becomes a, a backup. Um, so it's a great, it's a great supplement to, to solar as that's going to recharge your bank, but we're powering the lights, your fridge, your air conditioning, you know, your laptop, your coffee pot, you know, all those kind of things are, you know, what we would call call house power. And mm -hmm. so it goes back to what I was talking about, like with the grid with intermittent, um, you know, energy sources, solar power is great, but a lot of people put solar on their, their roof. And then, you know, at night when the power goes out, they lose power and they're like, what the hell I have solar. And it's like, well, you need somewhere to store that. You need somewhere safe to, to store that. So that's kind of where, where we come in. Gotcha. And, and what's the origin story of Dragonfly Energy? When did they come to be? Yeah, so we're actually 10 years old. Um, we've been focused on lithium ion technologies for over 10 years. Uh, Dr. Dennis Ferris is our CEO, and he's a really, really unique individual as he's, you know, a business a business leader, a, a CEO, but he can also shred some pretty awesome tunes on a guitar. And, <laughs> uh, I, I have a similar CEO, I, I have to say it. No, I said, I, you know what I go to first, but he would say most importantly, he is a battery scientist, and he is studied these technologies for many, many years. And he actually left a uh, tenured uh, professor position um, to start Dragonfly Energy. He saw where things were going and he wanted to create something that could actually make meaningful change. And so in these battery technologies, he's, he saw the potential in it. So he moved to, to Reno, Nevada. As he knew Nevada was becoming the, the lithium capital of North America is what it's being up at now so he came to you know where everything was going to be happening and we we like to brag that we were here before tesla was so you know they followed us <laughs> uh, and he went to the local university and got his uh his mba in in business um and uh started dragonfly energy excellent and, and what makes you guys stand out from the competition you know for our our brand i would look at um you know obviously our future technologies is, is incredibly unique in that it, it truly is a non-flammable battery it's not a you see a lot of solid state that's like a hybrid version and you've got the buzzword in but not what makes it special so on the long term i think that's what makes us really special is that battery technology company that actually has patents that are going to create some really truly unique products um but i think today what makes us stand out it's just the quality of our product. You know, we have a lot of competitors that that import products from from overseas. They slap a sticker on it, and they don't know what's inside. They don't know, you know, how to how to service it. And and for us, you know, we watch that. You know, we assemble the packs here in the in the U.S. and we know every step of the the way. We've got processes in place. I mean, out in our factory, they're literally initialing. You know, when when things are are done. 
And we back that up as with incredible customer service and technical support. Because when you're talking about electrical systems, it can be really daunting and confusing too. So for people to be able to call in and say, hey, I know I want to upgrade to lithium power. I understand the the benefits behind it. Well, what do I do? We can we can walk them through that. Gotcha. And in terms of your customers, is this uh, predominantly commercial or residential sort of customers? Well, like our our current customers, it's both, but it ends up on the on the consumer level either either way. So, like I said, RVs are our biggest business today. We also have a good footprint in the marine industry, and then we're doing more and more, you know, residential and you know, cabin, second home type type properties. And we sell heavily to to consumers, but we also sell to OEMs. We work with companies like Airstream and, um, you know, Keystone R- RV and, um, you know, a number of boat manufacturers where they'll actually put our products on at the factory too. You mean there's a future where you go on a camping trip and you don't have to smell diesel fuel while, while you're sitting by the campfire because your <laughs> your RV is powered by a Dragonfly Energy. I'm sorry, what's the brand of, of battery? Uh, Battleborn batteries. <laughs> Battleborn batteries. Yeah, that. that well, I would say the present. You can you can do that today. You can do that today. And uh, other than things like that, what are common problems you are solving for your clients? You know, it's really battery anxiety is the easiest way to to put it. There was a massive need in the industry for a better power solution. When you look at lead acid batteries, and that's really what we're we're replacing. They're heavy. They're toxic to the environment. They're they're unreliable. They're only going to last you a, a couple years. There's a lot of maintenance involved in them. And so we came in with a green clean solution that provides a premium upgrade to people's uh, you know camping experience. And now soon to be, you know, residential experience. We have people that live in, um, you know, cabins and homes completely off the grid, just off solar and our batteries. I mean, we were at a property the other day where they've got a wine fridge, you know, they've got air conditioning, they've got all the luxuries of just because you're off grid doesn't mean you're, you're roughing it. Yeah. If you build out an appropriate power system, you can, you can do that now. So whether you need it for backup power or you want to do something completely off the grid, just opens up the the possibilities that weren't um, really safe or viable to uh, to do before. Yeah, that old image of of a manual can opener and a bomb shelter when you're off grid are are, are things of the past. They... <laughs> no, but I would say uh, that definitely makes up a lot of our uh, loyal customers. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, tell me about the COVID years. I would think that as people have made huge changes in their career paths and working remotely, that um, that would feed into your business in terms of RVs and camping and, and getting off the grid and, and paying attention to soaring uh, utility costs and things like that. How have you managed to grow the business in the last couple of years? Yeah, you know, COVID for us was, you know, from a business perspective, of, of course, was kind of perfect timing with where we were at. We had already, we had a proven product in the industry. The groundswell was growing. People were starting to open their eyes to, you know, off-grid camping and off-grid power and that, hey, maybe lithium can actually be done, you know, safely. And, oh, it's, uh, you know, it's definitely an upgrade. And then when COVID happened, remote work became the norm instead of a a rarity. And so a lot of people took that opportunity and the RV industry um, just took off. People, you know, started working from the roads. They started realizing the freedom they could have to, to work from anywhere, whether it's in a van, an off-grid property, an RV, a school bus, we do schoolies, uh, you know, it, so that industry just absolutely took off. And because campgrounds were closed, whether it was for COVID or even as time went on, they were just full. Um, at that point, people needed a way to power their adventures, no matter where they were. And so we call it boondocking, you know, when you're, when you're camping somewhere without, you know, a, a plug-in. And we offered the perfect solution for that. So we saw incredible growth um, over over those years. You know, we went from 40 employees to, uh, you know, we're now at nearly 200 and we're, uh, we're a public company in just, in just a couple of years time. Congratulations. That's, that's exponential growth in a short period of time. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Let, let me switch gears into your lane a little bit. Uh, obviously you were a storyteller and you know that it's 2023 and we're all working remotely. You have to tell your story. So tell me what role content has played in the growth of Dragonfly Energy. 
Well, I love that. Tell your story was actually my slogan at my my video production company uh, before I was acquired to, to come here and drag or fly. But I think uh, content marketing is incredibly important in today's landscaping. Uh, I'm sorry, in today's landscape. It's um, the consumers have gotten a lot smarter. They research in very different ways and they need an authentic message uh, to reach them in order for them to really, you know, trust that product. So, you know, obviously we have to do some traditional marketing and it's important to have that brand awareness. But for us working with, you know, brand influencers, you know, on YouTube and, and Instagram and, and platforms like that, the content they created about our products was so much more, you know, authentic. And then for us to follow that up with, you know, our own produced content in house, whether it was us going out to customers, um, you know, journeys and telling, you know, how they're using our, our products, um, or even for us, it was the educational side, you know, or the, whether that's FAQ videos or, you know, blogs and guides and, and white papers, it was the, the informational side of, um, of that content too, um, was some of the best tools in our, in our arsenal and stand still continues to be. You speak our language. We know that single touches don't get the job done anymore. There's just too many options out there and people need to know why they should be doing business with you. Yeah. And I think the overarching message hasn't changed in marketing. Like the whole idea is maybe somebody's not ready to buy your product today, but if you can touch them in enough places where they know your brand, that when they are ready to get your product, you're the first one that pops into your head. So we get there differently. Um, but that kind of brand awareness of brand trust at the end of the day, I think it's still the end, the end goal. Absolutely. Expertise, authority, and trust. It is still paramount across the board, whether it's, we're talking about Mr. Google or, you know, mom and pop sitting down to find a product online. Absolutely. All right. Fast forward one year. What would you like to be celebrating personally and professionally? I think professionally, I, I mean, I'd just love to see continued continued growth of the company. I think for us, as we continue to expand in these markets, I I hope Dragonfly Energy and our brand Battleborn Batteries um, become that same brand name that we've built in the RV industry. I hope that that's now expanded into the marine industry and into the the residential side. That that people view us as one of the the big dogs. And lithium is a very, very popular topic right now um, for good for good reason. And I think it's important for us to be seen as one of the the leaders, you know, in that industry. So if I can help prop this brand and this company and the incredible, you know, R and D and engineering um, advancements that we're doing here to the level that I know they're deserving of, that to me is is per is personal success. Excellent. Tyler Borens, please tell us what your URL is, where people can find Dragonfly Energy and Battleborn Batteries, and what social media channels you're using these days as well. Yeah, absolutely. So you can learn more about uh, Dragonfly Energy, the, the parent company at dragonflyenergy.com. And you can learn about our consumer brand of batteries at battlebornbatteries.com. Um, we're on most of the social channels for both of those brands. Um, definitely heavy, heavy YouTube content. Instagram and Facebook and uh, LinkedIn as well. Excellent. Tyler Borens of Dragonfly Energy, thanks for spending some time with us on Business Ninjas. I wish you and yours continued success because that means you're helping the planet and that's a good thing. We'll, ta we'll take some fresh air. <laughs> thanks, Andrew. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Be well.